Hello, hello everybody and welcome to The Noble Crumb. My name is Jason. Today I'm going to share with you a recipe for a candy bar that is up here in Canada and it's called an Eat More Bar. Now this bar is not really sweet. It's got a really chewy, fudgy texture uh, and it's loaded with peanuts. Um, I'm doing this the classic traditional way that we're used to up here. But one uh, nice little side note that a person could do is if they're wanting to coat these little bars in chocolate to finish it off, it is a great option. But I personally really like the version with just the kind of chewy, fudgy, peanut buttery, chocolatey goodness that it is um, on its own. So here's the recipe for my Eat More Bars. And here are the ingredients for our Eat More Bars. So you're going to need one cup of corn syrup, either light or dark or a combination of the two, three quarters of a cup of peanut butter, one and a half cups of chocolate chips, either dark or semi-sweet, one teaspoon of vanilla, and two cups of roasted salted peanuts. So to start, I've got a medium sized saucepan here and I'm going to use a medium to low heat. I'm going to add in my corn syrup. I'm using, I had a little bit of dark corn syrup left and then I just used the remainder with light. I'm going to pour this in the pan and over that heat, I'm just going to let it heat up until I start seeing little bubbles on the bottom. So once the corn syrup is starting to bubble a little bit at the bottom, now I'm going to add in my peanut butter. I'm going to put this in here, mix it around, and leave it for about one to two minutes just so it can come together. All right, now that the peanut butter is combined with the corn syrup, I'm going to add a little pinch of salt, I'm going to add in our vanilla and then I'm going to dump in the chocolate chips. Once this is all in here, we're going to mix this for four minutes. While we're mixing, we're going to make sure we're scraping the bottom of the pan so that nothing's getting stuck and nothing's burning. This is not a time you want to leave the stove, so you're just going to mix this constantly. So after four minutes of cooking, you can see that the chocolate has gotten really nice and thick and rich. At this point, we're going to turn the heat off and we're going to pour in our peanuts and we're going to mix these around until they're completely coated and fully combined. So I've got a nine by nine pan here that I've covered with parchment paper and given a very light spray of cooking spray. We're going to pour in our mixture and very carefully you're going to kind of smooth it around so it's into one even layer. Just be careful because the mixture is very, very hot. Once this has cooled down a little bit to room temperature, I'm going to pop this in the fridge just to let it set up for about two hours and then we can cut it. So after a couple hours, our bars are set up, so I'm going to lift them out of the pan onto my cutting board and cut these into whatever size pieces that you want. These are going to be super chewy, super full of peanut flavor. They're so different if you've never tried this before, so give them a shot. If you want to add some chocolate to it, go for it. You can put it on top, you could cover them in chocolate, whatever you'd like. But eat more bars, they're absolutely delicious. And that is it for the Eat More Bars. They are so easy and please give them a try. These ones I think everybody is going to absolutely love. It's something a little bit different. Really good for people that don't uh, like something that's really overly sweet. Um, you don't feel so guilty about eating them, which is always nice too. So uh, thank you again for joining me here on The Noble Crumb. I will see everyone later. Have a great day. Bye.